To say that LEGO Marvel's Avengers is a controversial sequel would be the understatement of the century. But one thing is for certain, and that is that just like LEGO Marvel's superheroes, LEGO Marvel's Avengers has some incredible attention to details and has some really cool Easter eggs as well. And in this video, we're going to take a look at 10 incredibly cool and exciting Easter eggs. Now, as we dive into the list, don't forget to leave a like on today's video right here on YouTube. And thank you guys so very much for your continued support. We kick things off in the hustling and bustling hub world of Manhattan, which is, of course, the biggest of the hub worlds that you get to visit in Lego Marvel's Avengers. Now, when you're flying by the Daily Bugle, you might have spotted this oddly shaped set of Lego studs that clearly spell out a uh, J, J, J. Now, this is obviously a reference to everyone's favorite news reporter and Spider-Man hater, J. Jonah Jameson. So interestingly enough, even though we didn't get any official Spider-Man releases or characters in this game until the arrival of the Captain America Civil War DLC, we did end up with this really cool reference to one of Spider-Man's most iconic characters. Next, let's talk about one of my personal favorite characters on the entire LEGO Marvel's Avengers roster, Ant-Man. Not only is he in the game, but he actually appears in the game as both his classic costume, and if you happen to buy the Ant-Man and the Wasp DLC, which oddly enough is still not available on Xbox to this very day, that's kind of a bummer for all of you that are playing the game on Xbox side of things. However, if you do happen to acquire the DLC, you then also get the access to the movie costume as well. Now, one of the most neat elements of this character is that he sports the ability to change sides. He can become ginormous, as in giant man, or he can become smaller, not tiny, but definitely smaller. Now, that's really kind of where the problem comes in, because his current ability to shrink only allows him to be about half the size of the average character in the game. Now... If we utilize this next trick by taking him over to the central part of Manhattan and heading over to the sand castle right here, and we switch into the character of Darren Cross or the yellow jacket who does come along with a special shrink ray blaster. And then we will simply make our way inside the previously mentioned sand castle. I do want to remind you though, that when you're trying to do this, please use characters that do not deflect laser blasts and cannot shrink originally. If a character like Agent Coulson is perfect for this, then you will blast him with the shrink ray blaster. And once you've done that, just simply switch into Ant-Man and enjoy because you now have the perfectly sized character model for ant-man i genuinely don't understand why they didn't choose to make him this big or sorry i guess this small to begin with because this looks absolutely freaking perfect for this character and it looks pretty much identical to what we saw in the films now we all know that within the mcu Thor is worthy vision is worthy and of course we also got the confirmation that captain america was also indeed worthy and got to wield mjolnir well did you know that lego marvel's avengers also confirms that stan the man lee is also worthy of wielding mjolnir <laughs> I mean, I guess when you're the creator or co-creator of pretty much the entire Marvel Universe, it makes sense that you would indeed be worthy, as Stan would say, Excelsior! Next, let's talk about another cool detail that also appears in a cutscene. Should we test that? Move away, please. You like this? Even I don't know what it does. You want to find out? You're going to lose. You lack conviction. 
I don't think I'm... So that's what it does. Yes, the death of Agent Phil Coulson. And for those of you paying attention, you might have noticed that laying on the downed body of Agent Coulson are some vacation tickets. And if you've watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., then you would know that Agent Coulson is indeed headed to Tahiti. In fact, the Agent Coulson death references don't even end there because not only do we have the previously mentioned cutscene, but we also get his very own trophy achievement in the game that is titled A Magical Place, once again referring to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., where all you need to do is simply die and then respawn while playing as Agent Phil Coulson. Now, if you've played LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, you'll probably remember that the Statue of Liberty in that universe comes to life, both in the main campaign itself, but additionally to that in the Hope world when you fly to visit it. You will notice that it will blink at you and, well, interestingly enough, even though LEGO Marvel's Avengers is based on the Marvel Cinematic Universe, if you visit the Statue of Liberty within the Manhattan Hub world, you will notice that once again, the Statue of Liberty is alive. Now, as far as I'm aware, I don't remember anything like that ever happening within the MCU. Maybe it happened on one of the Disney Plus shows that I haven't seen yet, but interestingly enough, I guess it's kind of cool that they kept that in the game, even though once again, Technically speaking, LEGO Marvel's Avengers is not related to the LEGO Marvel superhero games in any way, shape, or form, except for being, I guess, LEGO Marvel games. But LEGO Marvel's Avengers is supposed to be set in kind of its own universe, where it's tackling the Marvel Cinematic Universe while being in LEGO form. Next, let's talk about the Hulk. There are actually several Hulks within the LEGO Marvel's Avengers video game. You get a couple of different green Hulks and even a Red Hulk, but the most interesting one is most definitely the Lou Ferrigno Hulk, as he is the Hulk from the classic 1978 Hulk TV show, where at that time they did not actually have the special effects that we have today. So instead, in order to make the character of the Hulk somewhat believable, they simply painted Lou Ferrigno's body green and tried to emulate the Hulk's appearance that way. This is something that is actually brilliantly homaged within LEGO Marvel's Avengers, the video game. Next is a fun reference for all you comic book fans, where you might have not noticed that during the meeting between Ulysses Claw and Ultron when they're trying to make that deal, we can see that he's actually playing on a gotcha machine. Now, another name for these gotcha machines is obviously a claw machine. And for those of you that may have not even picked up on the fact that Ulysses Claw's last name is Claw, that is definitely no coincidence. Instead, if you didn't know, Ulysses Claw is of course much better known to comic book fans as Claw, the villain that is quite iconic in the history books of Marvel Comics. Next, let's make our way to the Barton Farm, or better known I guess as Hawkeye's home base. And when we make our way over there, you will then head over to the main barn on the property, where you'll notice a workstation, or I guess a work table, that is highlighted by a classic shield logo in the center, but you might also notice a bunch of license plates. Well, these are no ordinary or just random numbers on these particular plates. Instead, each one of these corresponds with real life Lego set numbers. So for example, 76042 is the set number for the Shield Helicarrier. 76041 is the Hydra Fortress Smash set. 76017 is Captain America versus Hydra. And finally, 76030 is the Avengers Hydra Showdown. Beyond. Buzz no, Lightyear I'm not just command, trying to become Buzz command. Lightyear. Instead, we're talking about the trophy slash achievement within LEGO Marvel's Avengers titled Beyond, which is described as following. Play as Aldrich Killian, die and respawn, similar to what we talked about with Agent Coulson. Now, for those of you that might not be aware, why is it actually called Beyond? Well, that is because the voice of Aldrich Killian within LEGO Marvel's Avengers is actually the video game journalist, Greg Miller who at that time was actually hosting a podcast called Podcast Beyond on IGN. Hence why we have the Beyond title. 
Now, I'm sure that as you've made your way through all the different hope worlds of LEGO Marvel's Avengers, you might have spotted some really cool and intricate posters and billboards all throughout. And you might have spotted this one right here that is titled Journey into Mystery. Now, that seems to advertise some sort of a trip to Asgard. Well, that is once again, no coincidence because Journey into Mystery is actually the comic book title of the series in which Thor made his debut. Well, I guess technically not just Thor, pretty much his entire supporting cast and all his rogues as well. And last but certainly not least, yes, I decided to throw in another bonus one. I know that we're gonna discuss only 10, but I felt like we would talk about one of my absolutely favorite favorite achievements slash trophies within the game and that is simply the fast and the fury us which essentially just requires you to team up nick fury and quicksilver where obviously nick fury is the furious one and quicksilver is the fast one now of course the name of this trophy is a play on or a bit of a reference to the fast and the furious film which did make me kind of think how in the heck has Samuel L. Jackson not appeared in one of these movies? Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed another Lego Marvel video here on the channel. And if you did, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Once again, huge thank you to those of you that go through the trouble of doing that here on YouTube. It really does help out a ton. So thank you so very much for your support. And of course, in addition to that, if you would like to go on ahead and check out another Lego Marvel video, click the video you're currently seeing on your screen. And as I always say, have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Peace out. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye, everybody.